us be perfect, right? All right. Thanks everyone for hanging out through my grind with the teamer deck. Sorry we we came up short at the end there, but I want to move along and make sure we can get through. I don't know two, three, four, five of these decks before I before I'm done for the day. Um, we're gonna play some four color gate super friends. We've got Nicobolas, Vraska, Angrath, other Vraska, some gates, some thought erasures, some gross powers, some guilds, some, some gates to blaze. This deck list went five zero in a Magic Online league. So uh, let's uh, let's play through some play through the matches here. Maybe maybe this deck. Will be what pulls us into mythic. We, if we win, if we win the next two matches in a row, we will be mythic. People, apparently, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Ah, the old, the old basic forest thought eraser opener. Excellent. Only took like 60 hours to get there. 60 hours of memes and dreams. That's true. The... Playing four egos is less offensive than playing one or two, because if you draw like three egos, it's more likely to be good. I think this is a keep in the dark. I don't know. There's going to be like playing mono blue and we're about to die. Actually, the sideboard instead of ego should probably have more removal in it. Ooh, a control match is probably good for us. Rude. That's so weird, Pi Guy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Unless, unless you prefer magic online for some reason. I, I guess I guess if you want to use it as online gambling. Magic magic online does let you sell tickets for money, so if you're like making money out of magic online, it's probably worth playing. So here's, I actually want to address what you said there, Ampersands, because Unmoored Ego being, you just said Unmoored Ego is a four for one there. And I'd like to explain why that's really not the case. If you come from a background in a game like Hearthstone, in Hearthstone, it's very common for players to see the entirety of their deck every single match. This means if you take an important card from your opponent's deck in Hearthstone, it's like Taking a card out of your opponent's deck in Hearthstone is much more impactful than taking a card out of your opponent's deck in Magic. In Magic, a lot of the time, there is a significant portion of your deck that you're never going to draw. Unmoored Ego is always a 1 for 0. Unmoored Ego always is you using a card to take 0 cards away from your opponent. Because even if you take a card that's in your opponent's hand with Unmoored Ego, they get to draw another card and replace it. So Unmoored Ego is always card disadvantage. While there are going to be some players that you catch off guard with Unmoored Ego because they're sideboarding incorrectly, their deck's built incorrectly, and they can't win the game afterwards, Unmoored Ego, in general, is only really good against people who are unprepared or boarding poorly. Reasonable people are going to have a plan for it post-board. No, if you get if you read Unmoored Ego, if you wouldn't take two cards out of their hand, they draw cards. You never you never take cards out of their hand. I gave them the counter spell because I didn't want them to have Kaya's Wrath to kill my goat because I wanted to kill their card. So, Rump of Steel Skin, I am talking, context is everything, I am talking explicitly about how this card pertains to Standard, which is the format that I'm playing, and you are bringing up a Tier 4 deck in Modern, so you're right, Unmoored Ego beats Tier 4 Modern decks, I agree with you, there are Tier 4 Modern decks that usually can't beat Unmoored Ego, in fact, I'd argue the reason why they printed Unmoored Ego was probably explicitly so you had a way to beat up bad Modern decks. 
Unmoored Ego is better in matches where most all the cards in the deck will be drawn like the Salt Time Mirror. I agree with that. So Salt Time Mirror matches where you're going to go through your entire deck, taking away one of their cards is meaningful because they would have seen it because they're going through their entire deck. But that's kind of the exception, not the rule. You're very dead here, I'm going to concede. Um, Unmoored Ego is not good against the Petitioner Mill deck because it only takes four copies of a card. So it's not, it's not really good there. All right, what am I doing? I'm bringing in a bunch of counter spells and discard spells. I think I'm just going to cut the goats. I think the chance of me aggroing them out with this card is real low. But then they draw four new cards, Rabbit Wallaby, probably drawing more petitioners. So again, Unmoored Ego is, it's just, it's much worse in a game like Magic than it would be in a game like Hearthstone where you see your entire deck every game. Like, the Salt Time Mirrors where players often deck out or like the Gates Mirrors where people often deck out, like those are, those are more the exception in Magic, not the rule. Also, if you need Unmoored Ego to beat the Petitioner's combo deck, you might need to re-examine what deck you're playing in Standard. Just, just, just say, just put, put it out there. good against all the decks you want to play it against anyways because most of their deck no i don't think that's i think like i said i think it's very good against decks that are built poorly i would believe you that there are people who have built their deck in a way that they don't like in best of one it's probably good but in best of three every nexus player worth their salt should have diversified their win conditions post board to the point where that effect isn't relevant against them And my, my argument, generally speaking, well, if your plan is to use it to beat people who are boarding poorly, you're probably going to beat them anyways if you're playing well, right? Like, just play good magic and you'll probably beat the people that are playing worse than you. I'm excited to take their best card out of their hand and then watch them untap and draw a second copy of it. Or they just have two copies to start. Sure, why not? Uh, they're still pretty far off of flipping this. So I'm just gonna get Big Frasky. I do, I do get to slip Big Frasky in under the wire here, and her her tokens get to pressure Tefri nicely, which is decent. And then I can play Baby Vraska next turn to shoot the Sir Trascanta. Time. No, I want I want to keep making tokens with Big Fraska. 
So that way I can, I can threaten to pressure the Tefri or threaten to kill them with their ultimate. Yep, yeah, we've had ranked best of three for a little over a week. I believe it was last Thursday it rolled out. Hold that thought. Baby Fresca do 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 to do baby fresca do 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 to do baby fresca do 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 to do 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 Alright, who's a big fan of making him have it? Who's alright, well now I now I don't have to guess. I enjoy not guessing. Alright, alright, excellent, excellent. So I was just gonna head to the space jam there, but then we then we drew that, so. So like here's the thing. While while you think it's a good game theory point, Zulen, um, there are there are the, the downside of diversifying your threats is so low post board that you should probably just be doing it even against not Unmortigo. So like the downside is negligible and the upside is high in case they're playing a mediocre card like Unmortigo. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and submit. There's a chance I want mass manipulation here. No, we died as CTR. We we flooded out in a game two, and then we kind of stumbled and died in game three. Although I think I missed sideboarded to lose the second game, so there's that. If we run hot and win two matches in a row with this, we'll be mythic, but I I gave up. We played for three hours, we tried. Which we came, we saw, you know. We are 104 sub points from the pink beard. That's very true. Whole lot of nothing going on. Do 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 do. Yeah, play the play the double tap plan. Just. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap it in. <laughs> SCTR, dole it out some sub gifties. Thank you for that, I appreciate it. Would really like to draw an untapped land here so we can stick Angrath and pressure their hand. We missed, which means I do get to play Frasca and kill their search at least. Hey, Schmitty Games, thank you for the three month reset. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. How many sub points are we for Matt Dyke is here? <laughs> If we win this match, can we please one match with Mono Blue to make Mythic? No. No, it's okay. I really I thought it would be fun. I was having a roll. I said we were going to play till we lost with the team or deck. We played till we lost. It's okay. We will probably hit Mythic at some point, even if I, I lose a bunch and fall back down to the bottom of Diamond. We play a ton on this stream. We have till the end of the month. Really, really not worried about it. So, I'm actually going to wait on this to rest here. And the reason why I'm going to wait on this to rest is ideally I want to duress and play another meaningful spell in the same turn. So I'm just going to go ahead and pass this turn and I'm going to end step double growth spiral. And then on my next turn, I can duress plus Angrath to hopefully force my Planeswalker through. All you have to do to make Mythic is be an above average player and play a lot. Yeah, emphasis, emphasis on a lot. Emphasis on a lot. The, the people who make top eight are likely going to be required to play an unhealthy amount of magic. And that's and that's coming from someone who plays a minimum of like 50 hours a week.
Hey, motionless potato. Thank you very much for the brand new chairman sub. I appreciate that. Thanks for keeping me around. So I assume this is getting absorbed. I'm actually going to go ahead and draw here. So I get another duress or negate. Or thought erasure. Wow, that just worked. Okay. I was not I was not prepared for that to work, chat. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't, hey, this resolves. What happens if you make Mythic? Uh, you get like an extra prize booster pack. The prize, the prizes for making Mythic are like super insignificant. Just it's base, it's just bragging rights at this point. I can no longer stand by and watch. We need to move quickly. Mm, they could have had syncopate. That's true. Fire, no steel. All right, Sphinx's revelation resolves. Got it. Well, that that was disappointing. That was. Let's just. Let's just call that disappointing. Yeah, I don't I don't know, Larynx. Maybe maybe it is. Yeah, no no crisis is strange. I might I might jam some crisis in here. A curious choice. All right, yep. Hey, fail mine mourn with the brand new tier two sub. Thank you very much for the generosity. My tier two sub support me a little bit extra. So be sure you take a peek at the deck on my website. Let me know what you'd like to bump up. You get to add some points to a deck in there every single month when you re, re up at the tier two level. So like I'm making them discard a card of return, but like they they get to draw three cards a turn between Car and Tez in their draw step. No fire, no steel. Listen, Burgle, Richard Garfield helped design the set that Tefri was in, okay? So that's that's just partially his fault. Oh, don't absolve him of this. So I have six, seven, eight. This would be nine. I think I'm still sacrificing lands here. This card's really awkward in control. I might, I might cut her. She does not, not seem fantastic. Yeah, I agree, Goldhead. Laboratory Maniac might actually see something about a flame. First one to Oath of Defrey wins. Well, I appreciate that, Morn, and thanks for watching. No time for a break. Holy gosh. Fire, no steel. Richard Garfield's love for magic was manifested in the card to his Tefri history of Dominaria. area. Yeah. Yeah. So 
They haven't been attacking my planeswalkers yet. That's a cast down. I'm glad I boarded my goats out. It's another Angrath. Okay. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to Gateway Plaza because I don't need the mana. So might as well get this in and get something tapped. So, I assume their Tefri has to down tick and tuck my Angrath so he doesn't, doesn't dome them. I guess there's only 11 cards in their bin. Why not Alt of Raska? Because I think there's an incredibly low probability chance that one of my creatures hits my opponent. That, be that being said, yeah, yeah. So like, I'm not, I'm not surprised to see like Kaya's got the cast down. Like my spells kept resolving and they kept not doing anything about it. So like, I felt like they were pretty likely just like holding a bunch of removal and sweepers and stuff like that in their hand. Mystery card and then an Angrath on top of our deck here. What was lost is now returned. Absorb, yep. Let's skip to the good part. So they know about the sand grass. So I'm going to lead on this, bait the absorb, and then jam the nickel bolas. All right. Well, they binned, they binned Kaya's wrath there, which implies this nickel bolas is going to get dealt with some other way. Yeah, but they know they know about the Angrath. So like you may regret that choice. We did not hit Mythic. We lost a close game two and then stumbled and died in the game three. You know what? I'm not done yet. Yikes. Yeah, I think I think if these Golgari Queens had been like cards with text boxes, we probably would have been okay here. I think I'm gonna replace her with like Ral and something else here, probably. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, the queens were creases. We'd like draw mono disruption. I mean, we're not... So this is... So a mistake that people... Or like a, a bad conclusion people come to a lot of the time, in my opinion, is they'll watch a game like this and they'll conclude that we're flooding. We're not really flooding. We, we've seen over half of our deck. So drawing half-ish of our lands when seeing over half of our deck, that's not, that's not a flood. We've just seen a proportional number of lands, the amount of cards that we've drawn. Let's make, let's make some changes to this. Now, alting her is basically irrelevant. All right, let's, let's take the unplayable card out of our deck. What are planeswalkers we can play? Okay. 
Let's try this. Do we just want to jam a bunch of Kreases in here? I'm gonna try it without Kreases. Should have saved my free sub to get a Valentine for bad. Let's try it again without. One Kreases. Deal. Uh, I would encourage you to read Four Mana Vresca. She can't kill a. Four Mana Vresca cannot kill Reclamation. Oh no, a deck with a curve. Can we ever win? <laughs> playing, playing some matches with this deck is like. A solid reminder of like anything can can do well in random magic tournaments or events. Real deck scoop to curves. They missed a second land, chat. I smell blood in the water. We have a chance. We have a real chance. Diamond four, here we come. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Our deck is so good. We want a game, chat. It's everything I ever wanted. Now I was trying to down talk it. I'm gonna keep this and try and do a red source here because this hand's probably one of our best chances to win this matchup if we can. If we can hit it. <clears throat> no, Zach, we lost we lost the bubble match and I changed decks. We played we played Teamer Climb for like three hours. I just like had to move on, so I like don't get buried in the deck queue. Red source! <sighs> How do we how do we beat a second land chat? We'll do fail more and thanks for the support. more matches with this after we finish this one but it's not gonna be in the ranked queue <laughs> uh. but it it five vote a league how could it not be good variance yep you know it's funny I think I think that's something Magic players don't consider enough of the time is that you don't consider the fact that, like, it's not just that good decks can do poorly because of variants, but bad decks do well because of variants all the time. Okay. Alrighty. 
Just need some red mana. I feel like I feel like I've read this book before and I didn't like the ending. Yeah, if I had to play Orzhov, what kind of deck would I play? There is a Black White Angels deck on my website, jeffoglund.com standard decks. That I would that I would pick up. David with the two on three sub. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate that. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Thanks for jumping your Bezo bucks back this way again. Red souls, please. Okay, that's uh it's a goat at least. Yeah, the, pl the Plaza of Harmony means even if we draw a red gate, we can we can make red mana right away, which is nice. Flame of 5-5. Five five. Please don't... Please don't baffle its end. Or judge it with the Tribunal. Uh, the white aggro decks have been splashing blue this season, so they have access to the card, um, they have access to counter spells out of the sideboard. Like here, this is, this is gonna be holding up a negate here, I assume. So, if they have a counter spell here, we're just dead, even if we hit. I don't know how many red sources there are. Not enough. So I'm taking 15 this turn at a minimum. your happy reminder that anything could five can five a tournament we're gonna try we're gonna try this one more in the unranked queue but uh at some point i would like to hit mythic so we're gonna we're gonna try something else here give it give it at least a third match see if we can actually scrape together a game win feels like how many red lands are in the deck that's a good question let me take a look here there are four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's only ten red sources in this deck. Yikes. I've got a low bar, Bob. I think it's better than this one. I don't think that's strictly true. I think I think the Sultai Nexus deck could totally get us to Mythic. Uh, there are zero roots in this deck. Zero, zero roots in this deck. I assume they're going to take our Thought Erasure because that's our castable card. demise 
Oh, that's a double tapped land that I can't put into play because I have to. So brutal. <laughs> Don't doubt my methods. Might demands power. Yeah, so there's so there's thirteen red sources in that deck. It's been a while since we've had one of these. Okay, so the, the wrap-up segment for this, um, for those of you that might be new to Arena, I just want to highlight a feature. So if you go here and you click on the deck that you want, and there's this bot button, button here at the bottom, you click that one and then you confirm and you're good to go. You're good to go. You're good, you're good to go. <laughs> 